But if you close your eyes What is up guys, I am Warpath, and today I am back again playing Heroes of the Storm, that is right. And I am playing as the Butcher today, um, and I do actually want to do a guide today for the Butcher. Um, I did one on Vera and Rin, and it was received pretty well, I think you guys did enjoy it. Um, so I decided to make another one, and I hope you guys enjoy this one as well. I hope you guys learn a thing or two during this. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it here. So. The uh, the first ability that we're going to be taking here is going to be Avatar. Um, the other options are Invigoration, Block, and Chop Meat. Um, block and Chop Meat are pretty much never going to be taken, to be perfectly honest. They're just um, not exceptionally useful. Um, we'll go ahead and pick that. Uh, your Invigoration will actually be taken for... It's called a Hamstring Build. Um, and it's it basically sacrifices a lot of survivability for... Uh, stickiness and the ability to stay on your target uh, which can be pretty useful um, in some circumstances uh, but for the most part I think the more reliable of the two builds uh, will be the uh, build that I'm showing off today uh, it's the lamb to the slaughter build that's basically going to be your ultimate that you'll be choosing um, so yeah that's kind of the idea there uh, keep in mind that butcher does scale up pretty well um, he is a uh, character that is much better off in the late game than he is in the early game. Um, as you can see, I didn't do much damage there. Um, and that was a full burst combo. So, uh, definitely not much of an assassin right now, but as he starts getting uh, more blood, he will be uh, a lot more powerful. Alright, it looks like we have some uh, connectivity issues going on here, uh, which is, of course, not great. Um, but it, it should be alright. This is bad. Alright. There's a lot of damage going on there. Um, looks like we did get somebody who rotated top. Oh, it's the AFK. So I'm going to go ahead and go bottom just because it's not smart to uh, have this many people here. Hopefully we get the guy back. Um, that would be nice, but somehow I doubt it. Alright, so our next ability that we're going to be looking at, we're going to have Flail Axe, Unrelenting Pursuit, and Cheap Shot. Uh, we will be taking Unrelenting Pursuit. Uh, it is just strictly the better ability um, in this particular build. Um, the other one is great for... Uh, is great for the stickier build where you have to stick onto your target and stay stuck onto them. Um, but in this particular circumstance, that is not the case. Uh, so let's go ahead and go down here. Go ahead and try and pick up this guy. Uh, put our brand on him. And really put the pain on him. Let's head over here. Pick this up. Uh, it looks like he is coming to fight us. Uh, we're going to do this, but we want to stay on this so that we can get the progress for it. That's really important. We are out of mana, which sucks. Uh, I want to save it for my brand. It's a little bit more powerful. And just using a Q. I will save it for when she gets back, though. I'm not gonna chase. Uh, it's not something you should be doing on this map ever. Um, let's go ahead and pick this up, though, because that is important. Grab that. If he wants to come over here, that's fine. Um, I prefer that he didn't, obviously, but... This isn't good. They're gonna get it. Um, I don't really have a way to stop them either. Oh, wow. That range is dumb. Alright, so our next abilities that we're gonna look at are level 7 talents. It's going to be Insatiable Blade, Victuals, and Meat Shield. Um, you will be taking Meat Shield for the build I'm showing off, the Limb to the Slaughter build. Um, Grant Spell Armor, which is pretty amazing for um, an assassin to have. Uh, it's that survivability that we talked about again. Um, and then the other one that you will take uh, for your level 7 will be uh, your W, your Insatiable Blade, for the stickier build. Uh, basically, it allows you to stay stuck on. Um, sorry, I got distracted. allows you to stay, stay stuck on uh, 
he can heal up a little bit more. It's just all around a little bit better, uh, in my opinion, when you are able to stick onto your target and continually auto attack them. It's a pretty good ability. Um, however, in this particular build, we're looking more for burst and uh, single target just destruction. Uh, that's kind of the idea. So we are going to be taking the uh, heat shield. All right. So to continue on. Let's talk a little bit about a uh, little bit about uh, some of the counters that we will be seeing. Um, the big ones are anyone with hard CC. Anyone who are who is able to uh, outburst heal the butcher, so like Uther, Brightwing, uh, Lili, Zeratul, blinds are really really powerful. Um, Johanna with hard CC. Um, that's that's really the characters that you're gonna want to be staying away from. And I want you guys to keep in mind that Butcher is a very situational uh, character to pick. He is somebody who. Uh, who basically is countered very easily and when he is countered he's virtually useless and that's a problem uh, so keep that in mind when you are uh, picking this guy uh, you should really be aware of who the enemy team has uh, as it's going to dictate whether or not you're actually useful in the game or not so keep that in mind very much they can keep pushing that's fine um, we're gonna take all of their stuff basically just allow us to push harder than they can push by themselves um, they're doing fine holding it they probably don't like it but that's alright they'll get over it um, we can actually just go ahead and take some of this stuff out alright looks like our team isn't a fight back here so let's go ahead and latch onto this guy okay this is a problem I'm going to die absolutely going to die alright we lived <laughs> so yeah that could have gone a lot better I think um, we kinda came around behind him and then we all kinda went in separately wasn't a great idea but yeah anyway so those are those are the ones that uh, counter this guy uh, keep that in mind like I said when playing uh, Butcher always keep in mind who is countering you and who are you are playing against? Who the enemy team picks? Uh, it's pretty important. Let's go ahead and stun this guy, uh, just because I uh, don't want him to attack our team. Uh, our level 10 abilities that we will be taking will be the Lamb to the Slaughter, uh, hence the name of the build. For the stickier build, you can actually take Furnace Blast. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty strong actually, because of the fact that. Ah, uh... oh, let's get him! Yeah! Alright, there we go. Alright. Furnace Blast is pretty powerful in the stickier build because it does allow you to uh, basically stay on your target. Um, and it allows you to get off pretty much the full damage of Furnace Blast, which is really, really powerful. Um, get out of here, guy. You can fight on it all you want. It's actually just going to make it harder for you to get out of here. Alright, perfect. Let's go up top now, help this guy out. Um, but yeah, Lamb to the Slaughter is better if you're not able to stick to your target as reliably, which is kind of the point of this build. Um, you aren't able to stick to it as reliably, but you are in fact able to deal a ton of damage to a single target. Alright, hopefully got that guy. Have to back off here. We will go ahead and heal up off of him. As you can see, there's a ton of healing that comes out when you are able to uh, when you are able to auto attack freely. All right, so the next abilities that we're going to look at, we're going to see uh, passive cleaver, uh, basic attacks, deal area damage, savage charge, and brutal strike. Um, you will be taking brutal strike uh, for all of the situations here for both builds. Um, it's a very powerful ability, and I think in general, it's just the best one. Uh, the cleaver sounds very strong, but it's unfortunately just not. Um, because if you are auto attacking in the center of a team, which is what you need to be doing for it to be effective, you're probably going to be dying. Um, and as I'm sure you can imagine, that's not good. So um, while it's seemingly strong, it's not as strong as you might think. Um, we are winning pretty hard here, which is great, obviously. 
Alright, we will stay on this guy. Ouch, this isn't good. Alright, go ahead and attack this. Break down the support. Alright, we will be taking uh, Brutal Strike here. Uh, basically, Brutal Strike empowers your next three basic attacks. So, it, it really amplifies your burst a lot. Um, you go in and use your abilities like you should be doing. Um, and basically, you will be uh, just absolutely destroying targets. Um, it's quite an amazing thing, honestly. Ow. Ow. Leave me alone. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we are very low on health and mana. Not much else we can do. We still have a little bit of a Zerg, but we should honestly just let them kill that. Alright, so our next abilities are level 16 talents. Uh, it will be Crippling Slam and Raged in Blood Frenzy are the options that we have. Uh, again, this is another one that you should be taking uh, Raged on, I believe, every single time. Uh, there's really no reason to take the other two. I, I, maybe Blood Frenzy. Um, and I suppose there might be situations where you take Crippling Slam as well. But I would I would recommend going with Enraged pretty much every time because of the fact that it increases your uh, damage, your attack speed, everything when you drop a little like half health. Um, it's kind of incredible. So that's kind of what you want to be doing for your level 16 talent. And then also your level 20 talent, um, if you are going for the Lamb of the Slaughter build, you will pick Slaughterhouse. If not, you will take uh, Bolt of the Storm. It allows you a little bit more survivability, um, and basically, uh, let's get this guy. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Do you need to back off of this here? We are definitely in some trouble. Yep. We want one for one. Uh, they killed or they took our killing spree though, which sucks. But our team is uh, effectively taking the boss right now, so it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, so that should pretty much sum up the uh, guide portion of this, guys. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Um, if you guys stick around, I will be doing the rest of the game. I will be doing a playthrough, just normal uh, commentary on I hope you guys enjoy that as well. If you guys did learn something, hit the like button. If you didn't learn anything, um, let me know. <laughs> hit the dislike button. Do whatever you guys want, basically, there. Um, but I, I really do hope you learned something here. Um, thank you all for watching, and for any of you sticking around, you guys are the best. I love you all. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time if you're leaving now, and if not, thank you for sticking around. Alright, let's get on this guy here. Nice. Killed Asmodin. Um, let's go ahead and pick up and rage now. Uh, just keep auto attacking. Zerg's down. I'm gonna go to the bottom side here in order to pick up that. Uh, that one while our team is top they will be picking up that one just fine all right i was trying to predict what my team is going to not do and then i will try and do that just simply because this game is a lot of proactive rather than a reactive type of stuff um so if i'm proactively getting something then i'm going to be better off than if i react to you know my team not going down there yeah so that's kind of the idea of that um, hopefully we'll get to level 20. I'm not sure that we will in this game, to be honest. It's pretty snowbally. Um, we are level 17 compared to their 13. That's kind of insane. I'm actually not even sure why. Yeah, I mean, we just got a full Zerg right there. That's... I almost feel bad. <laughs> not really. I don't, I don't feel bad at all, but... I think it's probably because they just keep running in like this and dying. What is, like, what is this guy doing? Do you wanna do you wanna do something too? It's not gonna help. Okay, let's just head over here. We'll go ahead and lam a what what? Mm, no one saw that. No one saw that ultimate. Uh what? What happened? I have no idea. It's completely unexpected. Where am I? Alright, let's lam the slaughter on this guy. Yeah, absolutely destroyed. And that should be the end of the game, I do believe here. Uh, thank you all for watching. It means so, so much to me that you guys are here. I love each and every one of you once again. And, uh, yeah, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more, guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Peace out. I'm going to be an optimist about this. How I'm going to be an optimist about this.
Inside